Hi, how you doing? I'm Tim Carter, Ask the Builder. And I want to talk a little bit about static pressure. I'm here at a Christmas bazaar at my church. And this is a great example. I can teach you something. So I'm going to try to get my finger in here. There we go. So see the, this is where up on the roof, there is an air conditioner and a heater. And all of the air comes into here. And then look at the diameter of this pipe right here. So look how big it is. What happens is, there's two branches that come off and there's a supply register. And if we go back over here, there's another one. All right, so, but then immediately, um, immediately look at this, it reduces in diameter. So this pipe is less diameter than this pipe. And the reason why is some of the air has already left the pipe. So now let's follow it. So there's another branch there with two more registers. And then if we keep going here, another two supply registers. Notice here how it reduces down in diameter again, and then it runs down here to the last two supplies. And the reason this pipe here is a smaller diameter is because it maintains the static pressure. So the same amount of cubic feet per minute of air come out of this register as comes out of this one here. So that's your lesson about static pressure and why it's so important in your own home for your main trunk line. It's got to keep reducing in size as it gets all the way to the end of the run. I'm Tim Carter, AskTheBuilder.com. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to AskTheBuilder.com.